Hello everybody, my name is Ibrahim Perez. And my name is Maria Tari. And here in Ballet Popular, we're helping you build your passion and influence through dance. So the topic of the day is... Anorexia, Anorexia in Ballet. Anorexia in Ballet, people. Go ahead, Maria, give a little introduction of what it is anorexia. Anorexia. It's a very touchy subject, I must say. It's when you on purpose deprive yourself from eating because of you wanting to look a specific way. So, anyway, so let's kick this out. It's refusing the fact that you might be hungry and you make yourself Starved okay, technically it's a problem, it's a disease, it's an uh, eating disorder. So it, this is this eating disorder, but it has to do more with that, it's, it's a more complex kind of topic. Okay, simply, I mean, every dancer somehow, when they are doing this thing, pursuing their dance or in their careers, they confront these things. It happens because you're exposed 24-7 to this environment. It comes from teachers, it comes from directors, it comes from ballet masters, it comes from everybody that has something to do with ballet. And they want yeah. you to be super thin. And ballet is a very competitive kind of, uh, uh, kind of art. So you're constantly looking at yourself in the mirror, comparing how you look, how you have to look. So, so any, we solve any, this problem. Anyway, if you're watching, please let us know you're watching. Say hello. If you're going to watch this in the replay, leave a comment and tell us what you think because nobody talks about this. Oh, we are Ballet Popular. We're cool. We don't care. We do it. Because it's, you, you got to talk about it. Like It's a problem that happens every day. I've seen people all the time, little girls and adults, suffering with this thing. You have to have a very strong mindset to overcome this thing. Everyone somehow... They suffer it, so. But let me just show you a picture that you're gonna be like, but what is this? Like, it's true. I'm gonna show you an advertising from the New York City Ballet yeah. Company from last year. <clears throat> it happens I was walking by the theater, you know, and I see this huge billboard. The, the and I was yeah, like, I was... wow, how can you put that right there? And it's so big and massive. And the, sam the example that you said to little girls that come to the ballet to see it for the first time, and they ask their mama, Oh, I want to be like that. Is the ballerina, oh. the ballerina supposed to look like that? Oh, so let I'm me show you the photo very quick. So like that, you have an idea. I think your okay. sister is watching again. Hello, my friend. I hope you're doing okay. Hi, Lito. is watching again. Okay, so let me show you, my people. Got it. And this is what I'm talking about. Yes. So look at these figure sticks. Horrible. Horrible. How can if you, you watch, if you watch this right now or later, I don't care. If you have something to say, say it. Because I normally post this in every dance group, and people, you know, it's there for you to. Op op if you want to express your opinion, go ahead. I know it's a lot of New York City ballet lovers over there that love this company and go crazy, but that is not a good example. You know what I mean? That's not a good example for dancers that want to dance and want to become something in dance. Like, look at these figures. This is horrible. This is like pretty bad. I don't know what you have to say about it, Maria. I hate it. <laughs> so I did like that little like piece of art they put like bon bonglerinas. Because yes, you know that's not what dancers are supposed to look like. So I'm I'm gonna show you Technical difficulties, people. Oops. Anyway, <laughs> but let's go back. So first of all we need to talk about why these people suffer for this and the symptoms what, and all of that. What causes it, it might be like, in, especially in the bio world, we talked about what causes it, but it usually can be something about like low self-esteem. It might be your drive to be perfectionist in everything or you're like self-critical of yourself. How you doing, Miss Elena? I hope you're doing good, okay? And make sure you eat something. Gotta eat always. <laughs> Keep yourself healthy. So, sorry, continue. Yes, I was explaining some um, Things why this can happen to people. Well, I mean, it can happen to anybody, you know, like you have these fantastic advertising companies, you know, showing you all these beautiful models, but they're not beautiful. They're actually very sick because they are bony. They are horrible. I, I was going to show you some photos, but I don't want to be like gross about it. I don't want you to like be shocked because the photos are very strong. 
So even, I mean, you can watch that movie of Black Swan that I don't like. I think it's horrible, but you can go ahead and you can see because they really focus and emphasize in that problem like anorexia. Even the actress went to a extreme crazy diet to accomplish that look. But it's also an Italian dancer not long ago that she came out saying that everybody suffered, but she make it public. Yes. And unfortunately, it's many dancers out there, especially very well-known dancers, but they don't go outside to to talk about it. And it's so many of them. We try to find a lot, but we that's, don't really find... That's funny. Like, we we try to, like, Google and do research to see... Famous anyone. stories, and but it's not no, that much no outside. We know some people. I know a couple of people, and they're famous, and they went through that. But I don't want to say their names because I don't want to get in trouble with nobody. I don't want people to offend, but I know a very famous ballerina and everybody knows about her and it's public and she went through that and she was really crazy anorexic and she was yes but i'm not gonna say names but anyway if that happened to her that happened to anybody for those little ballerinas that i see all the time in new york city walking like they are the leader top model they need help yes and if you know somebody that you think might be going through through that they see they're always complaining they're they're fat, they're always uh, weighing themselves, they're weighing their food, they're... Like, what they do is crazy. Like, I have seen it. Like, when I go to, the, when I used to be back in school, sorry, I can see that they just don't eat. I have a teacher back in the day that used to tell the ladies that they need to eat, like, a little piece of apple and four cashews. And make sure you hydrate yourself, so drink water, and maybe juices with no sugar. And I know for a fact, because I experienced and I heard it with my ears, obviously, that she was saying that to dancers. I was present. I was present, and I was like, for me, it was shocking. I'm a man. I don't care. I eat whatever. And then you have the stream. So what they do is, like, if they eat a little bit extra, they exercise crazy, thinking they exercise that more even. that's, that's going to help them out, but it's not. And there's, then there's more problems. If they think they eat too much, they might go exercise even more, like you said, or they might go to the bulimia style. Or if they, if yes. they eat, they try to take it out. There's so for you guys, for you guys, bulimia is another disorder. It's several disorders. We just focus right now in anorexia because it's one of the most common. Even bulimia, but bulimia is, is, is bad. Like, people can die from that. Cause from trying, both of them. You, no, yeah, but... Both of them, yeah. I mean, anorexia yes. will take a little longer. You know, but bulimia, because you're trying to throw out whatever you eat. And some people, they don't, I mean, even it happens to me. When I was sick, I, I was really sick with my stomach and I tried to throw, I don't like throwing out because it's bad. Because when I do it, I come from my mouth and my nose at the same time. And many people happen to have this kind of way of doing it. Oh, he's not doing it, you're not, shoot, you're not choosing it to do it, it's your body. Sorry, but what I'm trying to say is that you can choke. You know, because you just, you can't breathe. You just, it's bad. It's bad news. Anyway, so Maria, go ahead. Keep, we need to inform dancers. If you're watching this, students, little ballerinas, please make sure you listen to this careful. So you, they, yes. Yeah. Me one second. I, I know. Oh. So you want to, I know you want to pursue dancing and you want to be famous and you want to be beautiful and you can do all of that as long as you're healthy. You know, like it's not normal to weigh nothing. It's not normal to see your bones. I don't see any like skin or your only skin and bones and no no muscles or anything. First of all, when you starve yourself, your body is eating itself. You don't yes. notice. This is what happened. You're not getting thinner. Your your, your body is your eating body. your muscles. Let me explain. Yes, let's explain how it works. When your body doesn't have anything to feed on, it start eating the muscles. So for dancers, that's the worst. So when you think that you look so thin and so, sm so small and your muscles are so long, they are no long, baby. They just, just no muscles in there. You know, your body is feeding itself from them. That's why you're losing muscle density, bone density. Yeah, a cell of osteoporosis can be a really yes. good sign of Have you heard about, of that. tell them, tell them. Have you heard about those ballerinas that after, you know, they dance, whatever, they start having osteoporosis? And Another that, thing, like if you're, it happens a lot during the teenage uh, stage of life too. So, yeah, a lot of girls don't have their period for a long time. So it might lead yes, to yes, it stops menstruation. So it means when you see a friend of yours, that's like, oh my god. But ballerinas normally they don't get, like, frequently, 
Yeah, they might not get a cycle. Well, like every, normal. Some normal, of them are yeah. very, you know, irregulars. But the point is, some of them don't have it for months, and it has nothing mm, to for do years. with years. Like it's it's the way they they they, they just beat up their bodies so much. Yeah, it's a like, low blood pressure, hair loss. All yes, these first things. of all, your hair gets thin. Very thin. You're gonna go bald. <laughs> Second, your teeth will fall out too. Because you're so thin that nothing will hold anything. Your teeth are bones. So Still second, paralysis. you'll be able to break yourself so easily. And probably you, oh, but why do I spread my ankle? Yeah, because you're not eating, baby. Your, your, your body needs to feed in order to, to sustain itself. It's a machine. If you have a car and you don't put oil, you're never going to go nowhere. And if you put a little bit of oil, it's going to run and it's going to break the engine. <laughs> It's just an example for anybody. So if you're watching this, please, and if you like it, let us know. Give us a thumbs up, a heart, even a hungry face. Because I'm sure people over there, they don't want to hear this. And it's okay. This is a free country. The internet is beautiful because everybody can express their opinion. So if you don't like it, we understand. You know, who knows? Maybe you're going through that and you don't want to hear it. That's another symptom of people yes. going through anorexia. They don't, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. They will not admit it because... Especially when you first start doing that, you don't realize because it, it happens to a lot of dancers, and I I read about that too, and I saw it. It happens, yes. And like when you start losing weight, your teachers start like for some weird reason that you start they like start you more, being, being acknowledged more. Yes. You start getting more. How many dancers and videos are so for that too? You get more roles, and yeah, you feel like you are actually. Um, pleasing. You're succeeding. You're succeeding. Yeah. But let me tell you something. And this message, this message, I'm, hey teachers, if you're out there, yes, when I repost teacher, these things yes. in the groups, and if you happen to watch it, this goes for you. If you are one of those teachers that are forcing your students to be really thin, you should quit it, bro. Or sister, you should quit the uh, teaching because that's horrible. And in general, if a teacher or any kind of uh, person in the environment need to be careful what they say in a teenage girl maybe she's going through puberty she's getting yes she's getting boobs she's getting we, like we bigger. are human she's beings changing. and we change our bodies especially when we're young we're hitting all this so if something said at that sensitive uh, age then it's a permanent um look i i think hurt you teachers out there i know you guys want to you know your your students to succeed and if you are in a ballet school, I understand that you want to compete with the Russian people and with the Cuban uh, school and all of that. And I understand the that. Deal of ballet. But at the end of the day, you're responsible for the health of your students. Okay? And I come from a country in which they used to weigh the girls every week. Emotion and if they, and if they didn't hit the weight, they'll give them two weeks to lose the weight and then they, were they, out. Will, they will wear out or they will pretty much take their scholarship away. Or don't so, give them roles. So if you hate One me, it's okay, you can hate me, but I'm going to tell you the truth. If you're a teacher and you're encouraging your kids not to eat proper because you want them to look thin, you're ashamed, you should retire, you shouldn't teach nobody. Moving on. Anyway, so I say this with all with all my heart, and I stand by what I said, because I experience it and see people experience it, and nobody say anything about it. People, just go to the ballet. Just really go to the ballet, go see the companies, and you will see what I'm talking about. First of all, when you wear white, it makes you look bigger. Yes. And if you see somebody that is wearing white, and it looks extremely thin, still wearing white on stage, let me tell you something, that girl has a problem, or that boy has a problem. It's that simple, That's because, true. When you see a Cuban dancer, a Russian dancer, and they're really healthy, you see beautiful bodies. And you see beautiful legs, and you see beautiful, like, muscle density. Definition, yes. everything. Yeah, and yes. on top but of that, you see they're healthy. Like, they go all the way through the, through the ballet, and it's hard things that they're doing, and they go through it, and they push themselves. I, I've seen, I mean, you can notice when you, you see people, like, running out of air when they're running in Coro de Ballet, yeah, you don't pay attention because you're just seeing the whole picture. But next time you see the ballet and if you happen to see a big company, just watch the people in the back, Coro de Ballet and things, they wonder like, you'll see, they run out of air. Anyway, keep telling them, hit them hard, what is the symptoms, how can you help somebody, go ahead. And the symptoms, like we talked about all that. Oh, first stuff. of all, yes, oh. when somebody is going through this, they won't accept it. 
Yeah, we it doesn't matter what you tell them. It becomes kind of like a psychological problem it's now. A, it's obsession with uh, with food, what, making sure what you eat, uh, feel bad if you eat more. Um, it's the, the whole cycle. Like you feel like kind of like you're in control of uh, your emotions and you're trying. It's the one thing that you feel like in control of. So when you uh, perfect that. You feel more uh, satisfied about yourself. At the, at the end of the day, like, it happens, you know, it's a, very, it's a weird cycle of that. It goes with fashion and it goes with dance, especially ballet. It's, yes, it's definitely like, like 10 times higher, higher the rate of like, anorexia and ballet, yeah. You see nowadays the kids in the schools and you'll be shocked. Like, extremely fingers, like, yeah. Some of them are healthy. Like you can see, oh, this girl is healthy. She's just thin because she's, you know, thin and slim. Some of them are natural. And then, like, yeah, because their body are natural like that. But some of them are forced to be like that. Yeah. And then you can notice from the beginning, like you can see when somebody's healthy and when somebody's not healthy. It's just the way it is. It's nothing you can do about it. But if you notice that, you need to talk to this person, you know. And if she's a kid, you need to actually talk to the parents, because a lot of the parents don't know. You know, when you go, when your girls go to school, you think she's good. She's oh my gosh, she's training so hard. She's beautiful. How great she's doing, and yeah, she's taking her lunch and everything. But you don't know what this girl or this boy does when they go to school. They might dump the lunch on the on the on the garbage. You know, they will go crazy exercises and and, and making sure that the teacher notices them because the problem is a lot of these people. This fall, it affects your social life of, too yeah, and everything. You don't want to go out. You don't want to. Do things you don't want to be in the environment because, where you're forced to eat in front of. I mean, people imagine, imagine to going to a, a school every day and having somebody looking at you in a very bad way because they think you're fat and you weighed like 10 pounds. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about this. And I'm hungry, and I'm not gonna starve myself. I'm gonna get a huge lunch because I know that my body needs it. It's just that simple, but of course, I cannot put myself in the position of a three years old, a uh, 12 years old, or 15 years old girl because I'm an adult, you know, I, I have experience in life and I know what is good and bad. They're trying to figure it out still. So. I know, but unfortunately, ba ballet uh, is related to your image in a way. I don't know, yeah, because, you know, it's, it's, it's a visual art. Yeah. They don't want to see fat ballerinas. I would like to see that if they dance good, I don't mind. But also you don't want to. healthy. But also you, know, you don't like want to go to the stream. Yes. It's a famous video online. I don't have it here to show you oh. of a girl doing fuetes and dancing, and she's she's a little bit overweight. And I hope she doesn't get offended. What I'm saying is, I'm just saying because for the point of view of health, I love what you do, girl. If you happen to see this, I think what you're doing is amazing because you're pushing no matter what, and you're blessed with what you have. But I also think you have to think about the fact that you're doing very high, intense things and your joints are taking the impact. Taking, yeah. Every time you do that, so the shan, you land, you're hurting your joints. So I don't know if your teacher has been telling you that. Maybe they just encourage you to keep doing that. I just feel like you need to like maybe bring a little bit more like the way down a little bit. I'm not saying go like crazy and not I, I love what you do, seriously. You're an inspiration, but you have all the capabilities to be great. It's, it's, it's just the way it is. You just think a little bit, you know, don't go crazy. Anyway, moving on. But yes, in general, like if you happen to know somebody or you, you think that you are going through that, maybe try to change your environment because your environment has to do a lot with that. If, maybe try to go to an environment that might give you a little bit more freedom or something that will encourage you to um, have a higher uh, self-esteem. I just want to just wanna tell people... If ask you, for help if, if you, you think if, you're, you, if you know some bad no because the problem is they're not gonna they they're not gonna yeah, ask not for gonna help. help so you're, you're, you know somebody if you know somebody them. if you if you see that that's i mean i need a pop a knitting pattern is not right meaning like she's just eating a piece of an apple or and she's then cutting she's very, just, small pieces very small pieces of, pieces of food. food and then you or, see that it's five hours of training and she's not really eating at all and she just go to another class she has a problem and you as an adult, as a teacher, as a friend, you have a responsibility to do that because you know what? They can kill, they can kill themselves. This can lead to suicide, yeah. right? Suicide yeah, it's a, sometimes when you have this kind of uh, problem, your serotonin, the, your, your happiness hormone is very low too. So yeah, that you, leads to depression. So it leads to no, like... No, no, but you it, are it depressed. Does, you are is, depressed. It when is. you get anorexia, you are depressed because you don't see the fact that you're hurting yourself. You leave yourself and... Uh, I mean, 
Here, well, you're trying to, like, you're hurting yourself or... You're you hurting yourself without knowing because... Without you, knowing and then you try to hurt it like on purpose or because, you might commit suicide or you hurt yourself. Everything. The thing is like, the thing is like, you got to put this, like, I, I, I never really experienced that. I could say that a couple of times back in the day, I really want to get crazy. I didn't eat here and there, but I never, it never went like that. Like I just... Well, what was a boy? I was just busy doing stuff sometimes and have time. Guys, don't, girl. Guys, don't but, really. But let me just that. tell you this. I lost my thought, baby. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me just recap. Right. So, it's like, you know, you are like in a glass of water. You know, it's like a penny in a glass of water <laughs> that you don't see what's going on around you. And everything that is, like, when you see the glass, you can see this penny is bigger. And this is the, the image that I can put because why? Because you don't know. Everything that you, you're going through is like multiplied by 10. Yes, your self so you know, is distorted. You exactly see yourself like, and you think you're... You're looking yourself through like a very, very foggy mirror. That's, that's the best way to put yeah. it. And it's nothing you can do to change it. Like you need to get help because now we're talking about psychological help. Something that went wrong in there. Just the fact that you're starving and you keep thinking that it's not right, that you still like need to lose weight, it's a big problem in there. So girls and boys over there, the reason why we come out and say this is not because we want to be famous. It's not because we want to be superstar. Who cares about that? It's because we actually seen it. We are dancers. We experience it. Now we do what we love and we do it our own way. So we don't have nobody telling us, oh, you're skinny, you're, th you're big, you're, you're fat, you're short, you're tall. We have that blessing because we do our own choreography and we do our own thing. But those people out there in those companies, you don't have a choice. And it's not your fault. If you're going through this, it's not really your fault. It's, it's the, not your fault, It's yes. the people that is pushing you to get through that. Those teachers, those dance directors, those like choreographers, that's their fault. And that's a shame for the whole art. And these people, hate me if you want to hate me. Ban me if you want to ban me. And don't even let me be in the groups that I add in myself to share this information. It's okay. I don't care. But you guys got to start thinking, you know, like, now you see dancers that are more athletic. Yeah. Doing crazy things. These guys, the guys that are muscles, the girls are doing these beautiful things, and they're pushing the art forward. Mm -hmm. We cannot stay for ten years, like a hundred years, doing the same thing. Like, oh, ballerinas gotta be thing. No, gotta be ballerinas gotta be beautiful, athletic, healthy. You know, if you guys. Well, like what Mystic Copeland. Uh, I don't want to talk about no Mystic like, Copeland. That's something like, else. I mean, that's a very good example of like how. It progressed. It's an, uh, like a visual yes, example yes, of that's, how that. That's an, muscle... that's an example, but that's like a. She's the way she's that way. Yeah, like, she's more naturally, maybe. Like you know, that, I'm not yeah, gonna but... tell you. Uh, I don't know her. I mean, if she sees her, maybe she might hate me. I got my personal opinion about things, and I'm tired of quieting it down. She's a beautiful dancer, but that girl was born like that. Not everybody has that beautiful. You know, natural muscle, natural muscle yeah. tones. Like you know, yeah. you start doing two dandelions and your legs start like getting so like sharp and things. Like I saw some photos of her when she was 16. She got the same legs that she has now. So I mean, it's just natural. Of course, her technique and dedication and work push her to where she is right but now. But I mean, at least uh, but, they didn't ban her from. Uh, so, yeah, but it's changing. Thing. But at the same time, yeah. it's not changing enough. It's not changing enough. You know what? Sure. Like it's not changing enough. Like. And nobody, like, they, the companies would, would not acknowledge if their dancer is going through that. They will, like, they don't care. praise her and, like, give her comments, like, oh, you look thinner. And the, you're the girl you're so likes thin. it and she gets obsessed with that Look, self preservation and At all the end of things. the day, mm -hmm. when you are a trainee and you're trying to do this thing and you don't have no famous people around coming to you and telling you, you know, you need to eat this, you need to eat that and all of that, you know, you are by yourself, you're on your own. You know, when you have advertisements like this New York City Ballet showing ballerinas that look like aliens, I mean, what else is to, it's like you don't have a choice. Why keep up with these people? Why quit? Anyway, so that was the topic of the day, people. We have four beautiful viewers. We appreciate you. One, two, three, four. So guys out there, ballerinas that are like aspiring to be great, don't define yourself because somebody else's opinion, people, you know? Like you and can, I will say that from my personal experience too, yes. You know, like, don't let anybody tell you you have to be a certain way. You are the way you are and God made you that way and your mom and your papa love you and your family. So don't push yourself away from that. If at the end of the day these people is pushing you to be something that you are not, maybe you are with the wrong people. Maybe it's nothing wrong with you. It's everything wrong with them. I can name... 
hundreds of schools that do this, from the biggest one to the little ones. Because I came, I've been guest. Let me come close because. <laughs> so guys, if you you know you're watching this and you're going to invite me back to those places that I dance, I'll appreciate. But I'm not going to name nobody. But I've seen people and little schools that I go and, and guest where they are more proud of the skinny girl than the other regular girls. That's a shame. Because it's that idea. I mean, can you, nobody knows, like, Bolshoi dancers, too. Yeah, you might know, but you might not know. But, yeah, those dancers are like what you said. They are weigh, being weighed. They weigh themselves. I'm not the, the, yeah, like, the teachers. You know, weigh them. Make sure they have to look specific way. It's very strange. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, excuse, uh, I don't excuse the Bolshoi and all these big companies because, you know... Yeah, the uh, train's amazing, but like... You know, they are the best of the best and they will do no matter what to maintain that reputation. Definitely. And the dancers that get into that, they really know what they're getting into it. And for them, in order for them to achieve what they want to achieve, if they got to stop eating for three months, they will stop eating for three months. Yeah. I mean, a guy just throw asses on to, to the director because he didn't give it a role. So these people there, their mindset is all disturbed. So I understand that, but if you're a local student and you want your kids to dance great and be better, don't force them to be like them. You know, like it's not right. It's just not right. Anyway, I hope you like this video, this live broadcasting. Make you sure know. you comment. Uh, you yes. Know what your thoughts don't are on be a stranger. You know, and even if you if, if you feel like somebody needs to hear this whole conversation, tag them below or like. Uh, and anyway, it doesn't matter us, you know. But if you know somebody. If you are a mother and you can see that Julie, the daughter of uh, Julia, is kind of looking thin, but Julia is too busy to see and maybe you should bring her to her attention. Because it's, it's different stages of that too, so the sooner you catch that, in the beginning it's really hard to recognize that that is happening. But there's different stages, so if you catch it the, on the early times, it's easier to prevent it. Yeah, you, you, need to, you, you need to just actually, you know, Love your kids. You need to be hospitalized too. Like the, Tell them how much you serious. care about them. And you know, that's not the end of life. You know, because somebody doesn't give you a contra. Life is not going to stop there. If you really analyze this, I know we're going maybe a little bit too long, but this is important. What is dancing in the Marinsky, Marinsky Theater, let's say? What is that really? Let's analyze that for a second. You are a dancer out there, right? You want to audition for these people and you want to go and dance for them. Just take all the luxury and all the fancy stuff out. What are you really going for? Technically, you're asking a guy or a lady to give you permission to dance in their space. And they will give you some money for it. That's what it is. And they will require you to do specific things that are specific So at the end of the day, yeah, yeah. Look the yeah the, you so want. you're going to yourself, you're, you're applying for a job. That's what you're going for, right? But really, what is the job? You're asking this person to let you, to give you that gift of allowing you to dance in their space and be part of what they do. And they will give you some money for it. That's what it is. So really? All that craziness? You know what? I prefer to dance in the streets and I have done it for pennies and for dollars. And it's okay and I take it with pride, but I dance my way the way I want to do. And if my dream will be to inspire all of you guys to stop like, you know, following these crazy people if and just understand that you are valuable and you can bring a lot of, th a lot of beautiful things to this art. And know? even if w two people are watching from this or we can affect two people and inspire two people out of this That counts because at the end of the day, this these, these companies right there, they're not changing nothing, people. They're just doing beautiful fairy tales. It's, it's people starving right now. People that can't live a regular life because things are hard. Because their city are being bombing. Because they have to flee because they cannot live there anymore. Or because they are pursued for any other reason. And these people, they're just doing sleeping beauty. So, and it's all hidden behind the beautiful costumes and the like, jewelry and everything. I mean, how many of these big shot dancers that you know actually go to like... A place that nobody's seen ballet. And I'm not saying because we do it. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm talking about superstars of ballet. How many of they go to the Philippines to just teach kids ballet or, you know, bring a couple of their friends and perform for these kids that never seen anything? No, they're not going to risk anything. They live in the little bubble. And I know you're going to hate me out there, all it's of okay. you ballet lovers. It's okay. Hate me. It's okay. I don't mind. It's cool. I'm putting myself here. I know that I'm going to get haters. But... If you love what you love, it's fine. It is for everybody else that is open to, you know, new things. Like, 
Life is beautiful. And the last thing we need is just to box yourself in a little mold that you don't fit in. And you push yourself to fit in there because somebody's telling you, fit in there. Anyway, we love you very much, guys. Even if you don't like us, it's okay. You can put a thumbs up, even a bad comment. You have your opinion and you're entitled to your opinion. But teachers, again, please love your kids, man. You know, encourage them to do better. Don't force them to look like someone else. Yeah, force teachers, them to look, parents, friends. Force them to look like them. That's the best thing I can say. Don't force them to look like Putitrina, Trititrina, Trititrina from Russia. No, from here. No, she needs to look like herself. Gotta make her that way. Bring the best of her, of him, the way they are. Anyway, people, here in Ballet Popular, helping you. Oh, my baby's gonna cry, she's getting emotional. <laughs> she's a ballerina, and I know she has gone through some stuff like that, and it's hard for her, but we're cool, we keep going forward. So, here in Ballet Popular, helping you build your passion and influence through dance. And I know she's a little bit emotional, but it's normal, because every ballerina goes through these things. And she's the perfect example of that. We have both experienced this thing, and it's difficult. But it's the most beautiful thing is when you wake up the next day and you're like, you know what? I am gonna be okay. She's doing what she loves. We go, we make kids smile, and we do it our own way. So guys, take it easy. Next week, we have a very interesting topic. So stay tuned. If you're watching here again, leave a comment. We appreciate you. So guys, have a good day, and we are out. <laughs>